If you're looking for a challenging new action RPG that doesn't pull its yokai pummeling punches, you should probably keep an eye out for Neo 2. From its release date to its combat system to its character customization options, here's everything you'll need to know about the upcoming Hardest Nails action RPG from Team Ninja. At the end of October 2019, Team Ninja producer Fumihiko Yasuda shared some details on the PlayStation blog regarding Neo 2. He opened the post by revealing the game will launch on March 13th, 2020. Barring any last-minute delays, you won't have to wait long to fulfill your virtual Samurai Warrior dreams. March will be a pretty competitive month for Neo 2. While the hotly anticipated Final Fantasy VII Remake and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 were delayed until later in 2020, Neo 2 will still have to contend with both Animal Crossing Crossing New Horizons and Doom Eternal on March 20th, making for an adorable and gory double feature. Yasuda's announcement came mere days before the game's open beta, which allowed PlayStation 4 owners to test out Neo 2 from November 1st through the 10th. These players got a peek at some of the game's newest features, including the character customization system and a new Switchglaive weapon. While the first game explored the story of the white-haired foreigner named William, Neo 2 takes place earlier and makes things a little more personal. This time, you create your own human yokai hybrid character. The events of the game take place during 1555 and are partially rooted in history. According to an official banner on display during 2019's Tokyo Game Show, your character is a yokai hunter in the Mino province. One day after besting a terrifyingly powerful yokai, your character starts turning into one. A wandering salesman named Toki Chiro calms your character down, and together they roam around Japan during the Sengoku period. <laughs> Further reporting from Game Informer offered an inside scoop on what your character and Toki Chiro present. Together, the two make up the historical figure Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who reunited Japan under one banner ending the Sengoku era. In Neo 2's interpretation, however, Hideyoshi was actually two people, a salesman and a yokai samurai warrior. The story, of course, will have lots of dark supernatural elements that deviate from the real world, so it should be an interesting take on one of the biggest moments in Japanese history. <laughs> When Neo 2 launches in March 2020, you can expect to play it on PlayStation 4 exclusively. This shouldn't come as a huge surprise, as it's following in the footsteps of its predecessor, which also came out only on the PS4. However, there's a bit of hope on the horizon for other platforms. Within a year of its PlayStation 4 release, Neo Complete Edition also launched on PC. That means PC players not only got the game, but also all of its expansions. As an added bonus, Team Ninja threw in an exclusive helmet modeled after the Valve logo. If Neo 2 continues to shadow its predecessor, you could also see a PC release before 2020 wraps up. For Xbox One owners, however, the possibility isn't looking all that likely. Down the line, there's always a chance Neo 2 could be ported to next-gen consoles. Even if that happens, you likely won't hear about it anytime soon. Neo 2 is shaping up to have a pretty complex battle system. Every melee weapon type from Neo will make a return, along with some new ones, bringing the total count up to 9 types. That means you'll find 9 different skill sets and combos to work with. On top of that, Team Ninja gives you 3 stances to cycle through high, mid, and low. You can switch your stance between attacks, which you might want to do often depending on your strategy. Generally speaking, high stance gives you stronger attacks but low defense. Low stance emphasizes speed and defense, but your attacks won't do too much damage. Mid, as you might expect, finds a middle ground between the two. If you ever need a boost during a fight, you can trigger your yokai transformation after building up enough resources. This increases your damage output, gives you new abilities, and turns you into a demonic monster, but it only lasts for a short time. Neo 2 is giving fans a gameplay they've come to expect from the first title, but with vast improvements. Where the first Neo had a co-op mode, Neo 2 will have a proper multiplayer that allows up to three people to slay the yokai scourge together. But even this new multiplayer isn't your typical online co-op. The normal multiplayer where friends can fight alongside each other will still be included. Players will be able to create benevolent graves that allows copies of their characters to act as helpful NPCs to a friend online when they, themselves, aren't online. These faux NPCs will assist players and allow them to access soul energy to utilize supernatural powers. 
In Neo 2, gamers will play as protagonist Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who is half human and half yokai. This mixing of species will increase the level of customization players are able to utilize. Everything from age to height and unique facial features are available for players to tailor to their own desires. You can also choose your character's gender, an important but often missing feature in many games. Back in November 2019, Team Ninja hosted a contest where players could create their own characters. Three male and three female designs were chosen as winners, with their designs made available in the game as presets. The winners also got their names and the credits of the game. If that doesn't speak to the pride Team Ninja is taking in its character creation AI, we don't know what does. Diehard fans of Neo can breathe easy knowing that not only is there a special edition available for Neo 2, but there are several pre-order perks as well. Neo 2 has given players a number of different options for pre-ordering the game, and each one comes with its own unique set of bonuses for your loyalty. Pre-ordering the standard edition, both digital and physical, will give the player access to a PSN avatar, a PS4 theme, a special armor set, and a Sudama Netscape charm. The digital deluxe edition gives you all of the perks that come with pre-ordering the standard edition, along with the Season Pass, a unique weapon set, and the Kodama Netsuke Charm. The Special Edition, which is only available in physical form, will give you everything from the previous two editions, along with an art book and a steelbook case. The opportunity to test the game before its release is one of the major perks of attending gaming shows and conventions. Those who attended the 2019 Tokyo Game Show had that opportunity when a demo for Neo 2 was made available. The feedback developers received about the demo was generally positive and helped shape what the final product looks like today. But there was another interesting detail that came to light after the event. 3,500 people played the Neo 2 demo in Tokyo, but of those 3,500, only 175 people actually finished it. A meager 5% of players were able to beat the demo. Fans have come to expect challenging games from Team Ninja, but this level of difficulty seems almost cruel. Luckily, after feedback from the Tokyo Game Show and the open beta, the developers fine-tuned the game. Whether these changes have produced an easier experience remains up for debate. As the creators continue to market Neo 2 as incredibly difficult. Hopefully, the feedback at least resulted in a more balanced game. Only time will tell. Difficulty settings have spawned a debate in the gaming community. Some feel easier modes remove the prestige of completing what would normally be considered a difficult title. Others feel it makes games more enjoyable when you can adjust them to your skill level. Whatever your feelings on the topic, Neo 2 will not give you the option to choose how to play. Feedback from the Neo 2 demo presented at the 2019 Tokyo Game Show painted a clear picture. Neo 2 is not an easy game. In fact, the challenging nature of the title has been on Team Ninja Head Yosuke Hayashi's mind as the release date nears. He explained, We wanted to provide players with a higher level of satisfaction. That was our priority. The developers have taken feedback regarding the combat in Neo 2's beta to heart. Hayashi told Eurogamer, It was almost too difficult and demoralizing. So we adjusted the difficulty based on that. If you make a move that's high risk and high return, if you die, it should feel like it's your fault. It should feel right when you die. For players who find Hayashi's words a bit disheartening, never fear. Though the challenges in Neo 2 will be difficult, you'll have multiple ways to approach them. Players will be able to assess a situation and find a solution that best suits their style. Betas and demos have given players ample opportunity to try out Neo 2 and provide feedback and Team Ninja has made good on its word to listen to fans. After receiving reports that the monsters and battles in the original Neo weren't diverse enough, the developers made it their goal to offer a whole horde of new enemies with unique combat functions. This has resulted in some pretty insane battles. The nightmarish monsters you'll find in Neo 2 aren't commonplace. Their odd and off-putting appearances make them stand out from other video game enemies. The man-eating Nurei Onar, for example, looks like a giant snake with a woman's head. The imagery is terrifying enough without adding her combat abilities, which are sure to lay your character flat on their back within seconds. There's also Karakasa Umbrella that, as you may have guessed from the name, looks like an umbrella with one giant eye at its center. This yokai appears on rainy nights to startle its prey. But these aren't your normal baddies. Come <laughs> quiet. One of the many things that sets Neo 2 apart from other games of its kind are the unique yokai abilities players will be able to harness. Because the protagonist is half human and half yokai, you can use some formidable demon abilities to take down your foes. 
Harnessing these powers won't just be impressive as far as combat is concerned, it'll also be visually stunning. Creating a game set in 1555 Japan, Team Ninja was able to play with a lot of interesting aesthetics to bring the time period to life, while injecting dark and twisted lore into the mix. This has resulted in an aesthetically pleasing game that, despite all the blood, is actually quite beautiful. One of the most beautiful things to witness is the protagonist transforming into a yokai form. There are several different options for this transformation, and each brings with it a different set of abilities. These transformations all have a common element, a terrifying and stunning moment when you turn into a yokai and embrace your demonic power. If you want to intimidate your enemies, this is the way to do it. The Core Neo 2 experience will already include a rich lineup of challenging combat and exploration. Team Ninja plans to extend the journey through three DLCs. This additional content will take place before the events of Neo 2, which is set in 1555 during Japan's Warring States period, and will introduce several new elements, including enemies, weapons, combat abilities, and characters. Multiple main and submissions will also provide hours of fresh content. Players who wish to purchase a DLC can take advantage of a forthcoming season pass. Like other games with and passes, purchasing this pass will grant you access to each new DLC pack at release, ensuring you don't miss any new offerings. The Season Pass is also available as part of several special edition options for Neo 2, such as the Digital Deluxe Edition and Special Edition. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the bell so you don't miss a single one.